So I wanted to make a video on how I cut people out of pictures and what topaz is because I talked about that but I didn't really explain it. So first, um, I thought I might as well just talk about how to remove watermarks as well. So this is from a website called Alame, I guess. Um, and if you're using Getty Images, it's actually, I don't know how to get rid of those, but these are super easy because you just use the patch tool and you select it and you slightly move it and then it's gone. But I'm a little bit worried about this one because it's on his eye, but I think it should be okay. Okay, that looks perfect. So anyway, just keep selecting them until you get rid of all of them. Um, the ones that are bigger, what I would suggest is, like here is a part of his mustache. So I would just keep going with that. And then where there's a part of his skin, just select his skin and then go on with that. So I'll speed this part up and continue talking when I finish. Okay, so I got rid of all of them, but the little logo right here got messed up, so I'm going to try to fix it by mirroring it. I don't know if that will work. If not, it's not too big of a mess up anyway. And then just using the soft eraser on the harsh edges. And that looks fine. But the other corner at the bottom is a little chipped, so I'm just going to repeat it with this bottom piece. Press Ctrl J to paste your selection. And then Edit, transform, flip horizontal to flip it in the direction that you want it. And then just use a soft eraser to get rid of the parts that you don't need to blend everything together. There you go. So now just select everything and merge it. And then press Ctrl J to paste a new layer of him. Then I'm going to go into Topaz Labs. This is called Remask 5, and this is how you cut people out of pictures. Or you can cut whatever you want, but basically, um, the shittier the image quality is, the shittier the cutout will be, but the smallest brush size you can use is 3 pixels. If you use 2, it won't work, so don't waste your time. And then just select inside the lines. If you select outside, it'll be harder to refine the edges. So just select right up against the inside of whatever you are cutting out. Okay, and after you've selected everything, click the red fill and then select the outside, and then click Compute. And right here you can see the mask, so this is what, you, what you're keeping is white and what you're deleting is black, and then you click Keep, and then you can look at what you're cutting out of the image. So you could see a few stray hairs if I really wanted to, 
I could select them. And you can use whatever size you want. But it might look a little weird. But we'll try it. I don't normally do this. Because it's pointless. I think that's enough and then you can look at what you're keeping and if you're satisfied with it you click OK but they don't put the hardness all the way up so just make the edges hard because that will get rid of the weird pixel situation and if you want you can shift it inwards once to get rid of anything that maybe you didn't mean to select so then okay I'll just show you the process of making the skin texture look better using Topaz. So this is what it looks like now. There's no like contrast or anything. So what I like to do is here's a layer under it that's not cut out. And then here's a layer I cut out. But I'll just show you the difference it makes when you edit their skin. So I use two different parts of Topaz to do this. Denoise 5 and then I don't remember what the first one's called. But you can see like how it kind of blurred his skin and you can do as much as you want or as little as you want I usually do about 9 to 15 depending on the if it's like full body or just a close-up face if it's a close-up face I do more but if it's a close-up or if it's the entire body and you do too much it'll start looking blurry so you can already see he looks or his skin looks a lot better and then this one is the one where you get like the brightness and contrast And it's called Adjust 5. You can change the exposure. It does that. A lot of people, I see like app editors do this and they leave it looking like that. It looks like shit. You don't want too much. And then the contrast. And you can lower the brightness or higher it. I like to keep it high and keep the exposure low because I just feel like it makes the skin look better and the contrast relatively low as well. And you can see just from that, you can see more details onto his face. So then you're going to want to press Control Shift U to make the background black and white. And then what I like to do is keep my background color black and then press Command Delete to fill a new layer and then use a soft eraser to erase around the edges just so he is more the center of attention you don't want too much just a little bit and then go to filter blur gaussian blur and blur the background just a little bit for extra dramatics and then i like to make a curves layer and darken it even more but not not too much and then uh, select the eyedrop tool and then select a shade of whatever color the player is wearing and then with a little brush just paint a little dot and then turn it into screen mode just to make the colors pop a little bit you don't even have to do full opacity but just to have some color there and then I like to use a color lookup just to blend the colors together a little bit more And that is pretty much the basics of it. If you want, you could also make his body in black and white and keep the color of the kit, which what you would do is just copy the layer, press Control shift u and then erase. But you might want to use a hard eraser so that when you get to the bottom, you're not erasing parts of the outfit. Alright, I just noticed there's a freaking watermark in his hair. Let me get rid of that. Okay, there we go. 
And you can either leave it. Oh. I erased the one with his skin, so now I don't have one. But you could just do that. So you either leave his skin black and white or in color. Doesn't really matter. I think it looks cooler in black and white, though. And then watermark it, of course. What the fuck? And you are done. I don't like to make my watermark too big, even though these bitches on Instagram be stealing my work, but like that's fine. That's that's life. People steal because they can't create themselves. People that steal shit are just sad, but that's okay. And then save it as a PNG and you are done. That's it. 